Okay, so when receiving your cable from the uh, warehouse, it's usually already cut and coiled to a length uh, based on what the customer has ordered. Uh, typically the cable and jumper form will come in uh, either 3mm, 2mm, 1.6. It can come in either, uh, a simplex or a duplex design. This is simplex. What we're going to do is load the components on and prep the cable. Get it ready for termination. So the first thing we do is load on the boot and the crimp sleeve. We do that beforehand. It makes it much easier than prepping the cable and then trying to put it on after the fact. Um, it's important to know that uh, what your strip length is going to be and that is usually dictated by the manufacturer of the connector. Um, typically they'll come with a strip length that will talk about how long to leave the jacket, the Kevlar, and the 900 micron fiber that's inside, which is the basic three components of a basic uh, simplex cable. So what I'm going to do is just give an example of how one would go about stripping this. I don't have the exact strip like, template in front of me. But for us we would make two marks on the cable. One would be to strip off the outer jacket, the three millimeter of the cable. What I'm going to do next is cut the Kevlar also to length. I'm going to cut it flush with the jacket and then the second mark that I had made designates the length of the fiber. So what I'm left with here is uh, a specific length of fiber, 900 micron buffer, and some Kevlar. The strip length is very important because we want to ensure that the Kevlar is long enough to uh, cover the whole post of the connector that will eventually go on. And um, the next particular measurement or uh, procedure that we'll do is remove the buffer, which we're also going to mark according to the manufacturer's template and remove that with a calibrated stripper for this diameter of buffer. This happens to be 900 micron. So we move this, remove this in sections. If you try to remove it too quickly in a big section, you'll tend to break the fiber. So what we're left here with is the uh, prepared length ready for termination. Uh, the next thing that we want to do before termination is just clean the fiber. Uh, there is residue left over from the 900 micron buffer. Uh, so we want to carefully use a moistened Kim wipe uh, using 97% or greater purity isopropyl alcohol. And just do a couple of wipes, rotating the cable 90 degrees each time to make sure that you've cleaned all sides or the whole perimeter of the cable and it is ready for termination.